<laughs> okay, so today, uh, these were sent in to me. This is what we're going to use today. So they were, actually, it's got a couple different names. Uh, the company that sent it to me is Materials for Candles. I will put a link in the description below where you can get this kit here. It's 50, 50 colors. Um, it's fairly cheap. Uh, I'm not positive what the price is. I am, but I'm not going to say in case it changes from now to then. Uh, it's not really that expensive at all. So I'll put that link in the description below if anybody's interested and you get the... Uh, the barrage of 50 different colors. I'm only going to use a few for this project. I picked out all these. I'm kind of going to do a, a ocean thing. Not sure I'm using this other color yet. We will see. And then I'm also going to use the Ranger Alcohol Inks, the Mermaid, and the Indigo in, in, in these two. Now I'm going to mix up quite a bit. I don't know how much I need for this. And I think I am also going to do it in um, the thick set so I don't get any cracks and it actually soaks into this. And I want quite a bit more than what I need in here. So when it does soak in under the pressure, it absorbs and I don't lose some of this wood. This is a burled piece, so. That is not dark enough for me. I want it darker. All I'm going to do is just touch it here. Don't take much of this stuff. You know. It should make it better. <laughs> Anyways, it should. Hello? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm in the middle of it. I'll put something in the pressure pot. <laughs> All right, bud. Jimmy, how are you doing? Hello. You're about to be on film. You keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. What do you got in here for you? Huh? Oh, just resin? Mm hmm. You got a bowl or anything in there, or you just turn it around? There's a chunk of uh, box holder burl in it. Oh, okay. That's what we were talking about last time. How. In a million years, I looked at box elder like it was junk wood. Junk yes. wood. Yeah. And I come over here, and he's, you know, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I, you know, I pretty much talked his arm off last time I was here. Didn't give him much time to do anything. Y'all are listening to him, right? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks I'm kidding. I'm going to put him in it. <laughs> I, I, I was hoping. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> look at the bottom right apart. Well, that's not cool. All right. It looks like fish scales in there, don't it? That's kind of cool looking there. <laughs> uh, apparently, I didn't mix it well enough. You see all the, the spots where it's unmixed powder, but I should be able to turn that away. And then I got some air pockets here in the sides, which was to be expected because I did not pre-dry that piece of wood. It's just been sitting in there forever. All right, we'll get this on a lathe, maybe. I'm not sure what to do with it. This is going to be my turned away section. This will be my bottom, so. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a worm screw in there. We'll find a center here real quick. Uh, I mean, that should be it right there, because that's... So I'm just going to drill the hole in that, because that's where I did my on, my... on my bandsaw jig. You can see we're a little oblong here, so I'm going to put it here. And we'll get this 
straightened out and turned around. Now, I'm not sure why I have this. This, this irritates me, uh, and, and I think that this section here is chuck. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. And I've just been trying to deal with it. So anyways, what I really want to do here is I want wood at the top around the rim. And I'm gonna cut this in. This is gonna be another pedestal bowl, but it's kind of a... All right, so where was I before I got interrupted by the compressor? And I think it's gonna look really cool with just the wood and then comes down, you know, so I'm gonna lose a lot of it and it's gonna be some wood in the base. But a good majority of this is gonna be resin, which is really cool. Let me get this down here to the to the wood anyways, and then, then we'll worry about in, down, and all that good stuff. Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's really pretty. Uh, so I still got a little more to take off right there. That's just, that's awesome. Oh, you all can't see it from over there, can you? <laughs> That's great. I didn't even turn it on. I just turned it on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna fix this crack right here and this crack right here. Uh, I'm going to trim this little solo cup and use it for a dam. I've got this little clear half of one right here. There's another crack right here. So I want to set this here. We're gonna hot glue this one on, hot glue this one on. Put this down in here so that I don't lose any leaks. And she'll sit like so. And then we're going to put her into this booger here and see if I can pull the air out of that crack and suck the resin back into it. I know that's not what this vacuum chamber is intended for but I have it and that's really kind of oops you can't even see it that that's really kind of upset me because that shouldn't be in there. Uh, I switched out the resin I didn't use the, the thick set I used the two to one epoxy and, and that that shouldn't be there's just that shouldn't be there and it's and it's irritating me because this is really pretty and that's really ugly. So let's see if I can fix that. So bear with me. I got to cut solo cup up to fit in here. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that's pretty ugly, so I hope it works. We're just going to put it in here like so. And, uh, slide her over here. 
and then hopefully I can pour some down in there and pour some in there. And this is just so I don't get any in that vacuum chamber. All right, took a little bit of uh, mermaid and some interference blue. And I don't know how far these crack, obviously that one will go far, but I don't know how far that one goes and I don't know how far that one goes. I only need this to go in this far so that I can, you know, turn the inside and have it solid. We're going to try to pour right down in there. I'm not sure how bad that's going to bubble up. It'll probably foam right up out of there. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. It was melting pretty bad. That's why we're in the blue bucket. So that we don't sit this on there. Can we all see down there? Hey, it looks like it. All right, so on. Oh yeah, look at that, it's bubbling. That's a lot more air coming out than I expected. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough resin in it. <laughs> that was an awful lot just to fill two little cracks in one there. Uh, now I gotta try to get that mess off there. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Maybe I'll heat it up with a heat gun and see if I can pry it off. Try a screwdriver or something. We'll see. Hey, to get the glue off finally. I like it. I like it. I like it. I can fix that. That looks good. That looks good. Get that sanded. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that'll probably sand out. A little bit of stain. That should sand out. You can't see that. That vacuum worked fairly well. I mean, you can, you can see where it went because it just colors, but it filled the crack, and that's all I care about. So currently, I am sanded up to 220 grit. What I don't like is this right here. I can feel that. Um, this is where I had the little cup. And it was just a little hole when it was out here. Now, <laughs> I thought it was good until once I started sanding. Now you can see it. I, don't, I can feel that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's <laughs> fixed or not. Uh, this all looks pretty good. I can see it, but I can't feel it. You know, obviously, I was guessing when I tried to match the colors. I just went with something close. But I don't know about this one. I'm going to sand up to the next one, the 320. And I'm probably have to go back to old school and see if I can put pole barn right in here. Because I don't have anywhere to put it. Then we'll get to the abrasive paste. And I'm not sure what I want to do for a finish. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like after that. I don't know about this blue up here on the top either but this right currently that's bugging me <laughs> we'll see
Look at that. Woohoo! I like it. That's just the sanding sealer. All right, so I'm gonna use the, the axe abrasive paste. I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna get a little bit smoother than what I can do sanding, <laughs> me personally. And I'll probably wipe this down with denatured alcohol a couple times, just remove the waxes from this and spray it with lacquer. So that's the process I got in my mindset at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to wipe this down with denatured alcohol and uh, shoot it with some lacquer, actually. <laughs> okay, so what it looks like is it's absorbing the, the lacquer right here. And then some down in here. That's how I'm looking at it. I've got dull spots. And that's why we're not seeing the light reflection right th there. Is because that's where it's absorbed into the wood. So I'm going to let this set up and cure a little bit. And we'll give her another coat. Other than uh, the couple little lines that were in it that I tried to repair. Uh, and this is on the bottom. So <laughs> I'm not even really that worried about Because this doesn't look bad up here. A, a little bit. You can kind of see it right there. But... That doesn't look bad at all. It depends on what it looks like when we hollowed the inside out because this is going to be a bit translucent. Because, uh, like, I can see there's a, you know, see the stick. <laughs> the stick that was sticking off of this, and you can see down all the burling, the lumps, and so it, it's really cool looking. I, I like it. <laughs> hey, time of year again. <laughs> Gel set up. Here we are, all turned around and upside down. We'll be right back. Okay. Well, it appears it's gonna stay on there at 1,200. Just sharpened all my tools up. Okay. I just sharpened this tool up. <laughs> now what? Y'all see that, right? You see that, right? There, sticking in my hand. Ow. <laughs> uh, I took it out and I'm probably going to bleed to death. think I am gonna go with that just like that well, I could go lower <laughs> I don't think I need to but I could go lower what do you think think I should I think I'm gonna leave it we'll sand it
All right, round two, 1200 RPM. You know, I'm just trying to buff it out a little bit. Hunt whale? I think that looks pretty good. Other than that big old crack down a little bit. Anywho, let me get this wiped down with some denatured alcohol and we'll put some lacquer on it. The only reason I'm doing this is so I can try and remove any wax that's left on here from the axe. Abrasive paste. Um, <laughs> actually, I want to try to remove as much as possible with a clean rag. Alright, so I got a little bit on the back side to do here. Also, Maybe a pass or two. It's the fun part. Trying to do this without runs. Ha ha ha! All right. I'm about to let that one dry because I'm sure it's just going to soak right in, and I need it to seal. You don't see any runs? Oh, look at that. You all can't even see that. <laughs> here, here. Get a closer look at that. Ooh. Oh, I'll back you up a hair more. Your little red lights flashing. <laughs> yeah. I think I like it, except for that dink right there. Whatever that is, right there, I don't like. On the outside, right there, right there. And I don't like it. You can see it. Right there. There was something in the paint or the, the lacquer on the outside. So I'm going to oh, wipe that off and then try to do it again. But I'll do that off camera. And we'll talk about this thing in a minute. All right. So here we go. Mm, no stickers. No stickers. Anyways, uh, this one was kind of fun. Uh, I actually really like this one. So. That's your outside. And... I did have to just write pole barn in the bottom. Um, you see this right here? Uh, one of the issues with it, uh, the other two kind of hid. So the vacuum chamber did work. What you didn't see was me do this again, because you can see it here. I did it again from the inside. You know, it was starting to frustrate me and the video was getting a little long. So I did it again with it sitting this way inside there and I used a fast set resin now that filled it up um, I can still I can't feel it from this side but this side I can still feel but you know it is what it is I mean <laughs> you run into issues and you work around them but other than that it's it's just I, I, I really like this one all the new colors from the materials for candles um, there's 50 colors anyways they sent me I will for sure put that link in the description below and like I said it's fairly inexpensive so but they are um, they're like 0.1 ounce per package so there's not very much but they're very potent uh, you know see I, I only used a little bit in in a little bit of resin for the amount of resin I used and I've got it's just really cool looking the waves and, and water and dark spots and green spots and it's just it's cool <laughs> And then you get get them in here and in the box elder the burling the burling is really really cool looking um, yeah it's super light it's a little thick on the bottom I guess I could have gone a little deeper uh, it's not like I couldn't see through it you can see I'm like right here so I've got yeah a, a little thicker than the outsides but hey you know <laughs> so anyways um yeah give it a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down and We'll see y'all next week. Maybe I'll have something else like that thing over over there. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh,